Hello listeners and welcome to our English language program Daily Current Affairs Updates. This is your RJ Priyanka and without any further delay we begin our today's episode with our very first daily update which belongs to the category of important day. BR Ambedkar Jayanti 14th April Ambedkar Jayanti is celebrated on April 14th, the birth anniversary of B. R. Ambedkar. Ambedkar, a social reformer, lawyer, and political activist, is remembered for his contributions to the Indian Constitution and for fighting for the rights of Dalits and the oppressed. He was the chairman of the committee that drafted the Indian Constitution, which was approved on January 26, 1950. He was a lawyer and economist by trade and he served as law and justice minister in Jawaharlal Nehru's first cabinet. Now let's move forward to our second daily update which belongs to the category of summits and conferences. President of India inaugurates Gajutsav 2023. Nature and humanity have a very sacred relationship said President Draupadi Murmu who inaugurated the Gaj Utsav 2023 at the Kaziranga National Park in Assam on April 7th to commemorate Project Elephant's 30th anniversary According to the president our country's identity is based on a culture of respect for nature elephants have been most respected in our tradition and it has been considered a symbol of prosperity it is the national heritage animal of india therefore protecting elephants is our responsibility so that we can preserve our national heritage said the president now let's move forward to our third daily update which belongs to the category of summits and conferences Prime Minister Narendra Modi will take part in Yuvam a youth conference in Kochi. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be in Kochi on April 25th to attend Yuvam a youth conference organized by Vibrant Youth for Modifying Kerala. VYMK on the grounds of Sacred Heart College. The organizers expect Kannada actors Yash KGF and Rishabh Shetty Kantara, cricketer Ravindra Jadeja and representatives from the Malayalam film industry including director Priyadarshan to attend. The conference is being organized by VYMK in collaboration with Youth 20, Y20 and official consultation forum for youth from all G20 member countries. Now let's move forward to our fourth daily update which belongs to the category of summits and conferences. PM Modi invited to France for Bastille Day parade. According to sources, France has invited Prime Minister Narendra Modi to attend the annual Bastille Day parade in Paris in July as a guest, but the visit is still being discussed. The visit which would add to Mr Modi's already busy diplomatic schedule is expected around July 14th. As the two countries celebrate the 25th anniversary of their strategic partnership, the PM and the French President Emmanuel Macron are expected to discuss a number of major agreements, including those on the Indo-Pacific region, nuclear power and defense. Now let's move forward to our fifth daily update which belongs to the category of rank and report. India GDP GDP growth likely to moderate to 6.3% in FY24 World Bank. According to the World Bank's report, India GDP growth will slow to 6.3% in FY24 due to lower consumption due to lower income. The World Bank has reduced its forecast for India's economic growth in the current fiscal year to 6.6%. Since May 2022, the Reserve Bank of India has raised interest rates by 250 basis points to combat inflation. Rising borrowing costs and slower income growth will weigh on private consumption growth, the World Bank said. The World Bank estimated last fiscal year's growth at 6.9%. Now let's move forward to our sixth daily update which belongs to the category of banking. Bank of Maharashtra inaugurated its first dedicated branch for startups in Pune. The state-owned Bank of Maharashtra BOM has announced the opening of its first dedicated branch for startups in Pune. According to a statement from BOM, the dedicated branch will provide all types of support to a startup during its growth journey. Pune is strategically important for us to enter because of the city's technological and industrial advancements as well as the bank's expertise according to the lender. This will open up new opportunities for the bank as well as startups in Pune and Maharashtra state, it added. Now let's move forward to our 
सेवेंथ डेली अपडेट विच बिलोंग्स टू दैटेगरी ऑफ अग्रीमेंट फिनो पेमेंट्स बैंक एंड राजस्थान रॉयल्स टाइज अप फॉर डिजिटल बैंकिंग पार्टनर फिनो पेमेंट्स लिमिटेड हैज रिन्यूड इट्स पार्टनरशिप विद द राजस्थान रॉयल्स आर आर फॉर द सिक्सटीन सीजन ऑफ द इंडियन प्रीमियर लीग आई पी एल आर आर ऑफिशियल डिजिटल बैंकिंग पार्टनर विल बी फिनो बैंक लास्ट सीजन द बैंक मेड इट्स फर्स्ट फोरे इन टू द मेगा स्पॉटिंग इवेंट बाय पार्टनरिंग विद आर आर एज द डिजिटल पेमेंट्स पार्टनर Through this engagement the newly launched Finopay digital savings account is expected to gain traction with the launch of its new Finopay digital savings account the bank hopes to gain more traction through this engagement with the Rajasthan Royals Now let's move forward to our eighth daily update which belongs to the category of sports Indian men women bag fourth asian kho kho titles The Indian men's and women's team won the fourth Asian Kho Kho Championships which concluded in Tamulpur Baksa district North Central Assam. The Indian men defeated Nepal by 6 points and an inning in the finals while the Indian women defeated their Nepal opponents by 33 points and an inning. Earlier in the day the Indian men defeated the Sri Lankan challenger by 45 points in the semi finals. In the other semi final Nepal defeated Bangladesh Desh by 12 points with the 1.5 minutes remaining now let's move forward to our ninth daily update which belongs to the category of agreement india and romania signed first defense cooperation agreement Romania's Deputy Defence Minister Simona Kojokaru met India's Defence Secretary Giridhar Aramane in New Delhi and signed a defence agreement. The defence cooperation agreement signed by India and Romania will strengthen collaboration through the exchange of expertise and knowledge on topics of mutual interest such as co-development and co-production of military hardware according to Simona Kojokaru State Secretary and Chief of Romania's Department for for defense policy planning and international relations now let's move forward to the 10th and last daily update for today which belongs to the category of appointment rbi appoints neeraj nigam as executive director The Reserve Bank of India has named Neeraj Nigam as Executive Director ED in charge of four departments including Consumer Education and Protection. Prior to being promoted to ED he was the director of the RBI's Bhopal regional office. Mr Nigam has spent more than 3 decades with the Reserve Bank working in regulation and supervision, human resource management, premises, currency management, bank accounts and other areas in both the central and regional offices. So with this we have now come to an end of today's episode of Daily Current Affairs Updates. Please stay tuned for more learning. This is your RJ Priyanka signing off for the day. Thank you.